Happy 2020. It's a new day, a new year, a new decade, and a new age. We've gone from the Piscean age to the age of Aquarius. Hi, I'm Cindy Powers Prosser of cindypowersprosser.com, and with every room being taken during the holidays, I've had to sneak into my bedroom to make this short video for you. Today, more than ever, we have the opportunity to create the framework for a new, enlightened society. One that's based on love, authenticity, kindness, and respect for all sentient beings. Since I can remember, I knew I was different. My mother disliked being a woman so much, she would re regularly tell me, her only daughter, it's a man's world and you better get used to it. And she was a math and physical education teacher at Stanford, until she got married, that is, and then she had to stay at home. She was logical, linear, and competitive in nature. Now, I, on the other hand, loved being a girl. When asked at the age of seven what I wanted to be when I grew up, I joyfully exclaimed that I wanted to be a mother. At that young age, I looked forward to lovingly nurturing my family and my husband-to-be, whoever that might have been. I regularly watched my un and talked to my unseen friends. I felt the energy of nature spirits all around me and I communicated and followed guidance from an energy I called God. I easily spoke and wrote from my heart. I created and delivered Valentine's Day cards to everyone I could on Valentine's Day. It was my favorite holiday. And on May Day, I hung, made these little baskets of flowers and I hung them on the neighbor's doors. From age eight through 18, I sponsored a child through Compassion International, an organization that's still strong today. At age 10, although simple, I single-handedly hosted two annual neighborhood fundraisers for children in need. Now I tell you this not for your acknowledgement. I tell you this because for as long as I can remember, I've navigated from my heart and I've known I was never alone and that I believed we were all connected by love. In my early 40s, I was at a low point in my life. Now, one night I was feeling really sorry for myself. I was having this deep pity party. And in the middle of it, I clearly heard the message from my soul or my angels reminding me to watch my thoughts and words. It specifically informed me that my thoughts and my words were actually creating my life. And if I didn't watch what I was thinking and feeling, it would become my reality. And I needed to stop immediately. So. Why am I sharing this story with you? I believe that I was born for this time. I know without a doubt, this is why I'm here in this lifetime, to help usher out this dying world, this patriarchal world of domination, a world of creating self-worth by pushing, producing, performing, controlling, and overpowering others, and to help usher in and welcome in a world of dominion. You see, I embrace a world of more feminine wisdom, one that includes resting, feeling, listening, desiring, supporting, co-creating, and receiving. And this is the age of Aquarian. Can you feel this change? Chaos precedes change, and change is uncomfortable. And the world is changing, and so are you and I. As we head courageously into 2020, I feel we could all use access to some deeper wisdom and different tools to guide our way forward. Now, a couple of weeks ago, my heart felt, I had this heartfelt call to create a short program for January to share some powerful tools for visioning, creating and manifesting that goes way beyond the basic classic vision boards goal setting and the law of attraction. I'm calling this program Ignite. There's much work for us to do in 2020 and the old patriarchal ways of pushing through goals and achieving in life are set, uh, setting us up for burnout, frustration, and self-judgment. There is a different way. It's a more feminine way, a way to co-create, nurture, grow and receive what you most desire. A way to consciously create your reality from a place of love. 
Would you allow me to support you in igniting into this most important energy of our lifetime? I'd love if you would let me shine the light upon some simple yet powerful wisdom and tools that you can use to get focused, to release, to co-create with and receive from the universe this year. In 2020 and beyond, we can expect chaos in this world. I promise you that. More than ever, we need practices to help us make conscious choices and become conscious creators so that we can navigate our life from the inside out. Please let me show you the way. And if you register for Ignite before midnight, January 3rd, Pacific time, I will throw in a 30 minute private one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me to help guide you. So please, I invite you to join me for January. Three one hour live video calls to ignite, ignite you and propel you into a powerful 2020. Well, that's it for now with so much love and celebration for the new year. Bye-bye.